everyone welcome back to my channel today we are doing a small business um cash stuff in although there is some money just from some like sales that i've made here and there but i will explain as we go and i've got some new goodies that i've made myself which i can't wait to show you guys you might have already seen it in or one of them in the short that i made earlier today um yeah so today i have 140 pounds to cash stuff and I don't know how much was from just my small business. I've just put it all together. Um, but I did make, well, actually, it'd be relatively easy to work it out. But I um, sold my old Apple Pencil because it wasn't compatible with my new iPad. So I had to buy a new pencil, got rid of the old one. I sold that for £60. So that is included in this money here. Um, and then I think, I think the rest of it was from my small business. I think. I can't remember now. I've had the money sitting in my per well, it was I obviously withdrew it, had it in my purse for like a day or two, and then it's just been sitting here waiting for me to have time to do a video. I've had today and yesterday off work. Today is Friday the 20th. Should be able to get this video out today. That is my plan. Um but yeah, I've had had a couple of days off um to try and catch up on some studying, so that has been a priority. I've been doing that um and being a bit crafty in the um in the afternoons crafty in the sense of making things <laughs> um yeah so let's do the cash stuff in to start with so um i've got 10 pounds going into personal i'm not even going to bother just putting it in there i'm going to put it straight into my little wallet that goes into um my purse so there is a bit of change in there i'm going to keep that in there I've got 10 pounds we're going to pop into personal um but any change that is left over in there will go to the penny savings challenge next friday i get paid from my day job on friday and yeah so the change will come out then um i'm not planning on spending anything i am all, i'm actually owed two pound fifty from somebody we got a cheeky mcdonald's at work the other day um i gave them a tenner they I don't know why I didn't get all the change. I think he bought his along with mine and didn't have enough change to give me. But anyway, yeah, so I am due £2.50 back um, at some point. I don't know when I'll get that. I'm not too worried about that, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so that's £10 in personal. I'm going to pop that back over. Let's pop that in there. Um, so next, I think everything is in the savings folder, but we will find out as we go. So... Um, nothing in car insurance, maintenance, Christmas. I am going to put some money in birthdays. Um, so I do have my £2 savings tracker um, for the birthdays, but I'm not getting that many £2 coins. So I'm going to pop £10 in there. Um, I might use some fibres, actually. I've got loads of fibres. I'm not quite sure why. I think I got loads of... I did something. I was, like, condensing a bit. And then uncondensed? No, I did condense. That's why I've got all the fibres. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, I don't know why I've got so many. But I quite like it because I like having them in circulation. But let's do a count. So there's £4 in change. And we have got 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 38. Did I just say 6? There's 38 with the two pounds so i've just got my ipad here i'm going to make a note of everything so what did i say oh i've forgotten what i said already 10 15 20 25 30 so yeah 38 oh my brain is fried fried from writing a report this morning <laughs> so i'm taking a nice break um what else? Oh, no, we do need to go in the other folder. Anyway, nothing for those two. We're not doing this £5 savings. So debt is the next one. So we restarted this recently. I paid it off one of my credit cards. So this is paying off the new credit card. We can we, we moved it, balance transferred it, got an interest free for nine months. So this is what this money is going towards. I did pay off, I think, £6 or so. If I can insert a picture, then I will, um, of that little payment. So I think I paid off like the odd amount. So I made it 
920 I think left because obviously you have the three percent balance transfer fee but it's then interest free um so yeah if I can I will pop a picture in there just to show how much um I paid off and what is left um but yeah we have nine months to do this um to try and get the well we're gonna do it I'm putting it out there we're gonna do it nine months to pay off that 920 or whatever it is that's left um using this challenge so I am putting in 40 so 20 40 40 going in and we already had 15 so we've got 20 40 55 so 55 let's pop that in there and there's my sharpie so I made a little note to myself because obviously I'm I don't want to put change in there if I can help it so I'm going to try and do like two at a time and I have decided to do wait is that 20 that's 30 um I didn't update it actually okay let's just do 17 so I planned on doing 17 and 13 which is obviously 30 and then I had an extra tenner I don't know if I got more from my business that's why I added an extra tenner um, 17 and 13 and then we'll just do I don't really want to just do the 10 but we'll do it I mean if if I struggle to do some of these just because they're higher amounts or they don't equal like a round number and if I want to put in 20 pounds but split it over two for instance um i might end up just doing like a almost like an unstuffing so take out everything and like fill up the bigger ones first once if we get to that point um but we'll see we'll see how we do how we do right so that's that folder now done how much did i say was in there oh my god i'm losing my mind today 20 40 55 okay i just want to keep a, a log on my tracker on my ipad okay so that's yeah that's that one done okay excuse the fluffy jumper i'm refusing to put the heating on today so i've been in my nice thick jumper fluffy jumper um with a hot water bottle all morning <laughs> so i'm nice and toasty um nothing in fuel i have filled up i filled up um wednesday um, and we still have a fair amount in there. It did help with like it being Christmas and not needing to use the car that much. And obviously I've had two days off work as well. So two days off of work saves me £20. It cost me around 10 a day to get to work. But we have 10, 20, 35 and a little bit of change in there. Um, so yeah, I'm happy about that. I'm not sure it, what I'll do with any money left over because I won't fill it up again for another two weeks now. I might put this money towards the debt. We'll see. I'll have a think about it because I wasn't really... I mean, I sort of was expecting some money left over because based on it costing me roughly £10 a day, that's £50 a week. That's £200 a month. And I stuffed £240. Um, so, theoretically, if I don't use the car much at the weekends, um, then there should be some money over. So what I might... Yeah, I might I might stuff that somewhere else. Um either in somewhere that needs it or just put it straight into debt we'll see beauty has also been taken out of i'm not adding into it again today um but we have 25 29 um but i've had my nails done i've had my hair done and i don't have anything booked in until i think it's like the middle of next month now um so yeah i maybe i'll do the no I'm changing I'm changing how I'm going to do things instead of doing one monthly cash stuff I'm going to do it two weekly um which is sort of going to work I, I don't know we'll we'll see if it works or not because obviously some weeks some months are five weeks um but I can obviously like split everything in half if I do it in weeks then I'm I don't know I was confusing myself trying to work it out so <laughs> I think we'll try two weekly see how that goes um but because I still have this money in here I'm not going to stuff that much for next month um 
and I plan I need to get some new makeup as I don't buy expensive makeup um so yeah I've planned to spend maybe like a tenner on makeup maybe 15 and then I'll still have with the money I stuff in the next couple of weeks I'll still have enough for all my treatments um I haven't used food shop not stuff in it same with Millie same with dining out I haven't put anything in there cloves we are stuffing so I do like to stuff clothes and entertainment on my small business cash stuffings um just because then it's like I'm actually sort of treating myself with it and I don't tend to do it with my monthly cash stuffings because I haven't really got the budget to at the moment which is fine that's not a problem and so we're putting in 15 pounds so we'll do a 10 pounds and a five pounds I should have done the two next to each other never mind and I know I could just put a cross through this but I like colouring it all in. I find it easier. I find it easier to see and kind of therapeutic. Let's do one at the top, one at the bottom. I nearly had butted the um, camera mount then. Um, <laughs> yeah, I find it easier to see on my Christmas tracker. I've put crosses through and I can't really see them, so I'm like, oh, I haven't got anything in there, and I know that I do, um, but it's just hard to see. So yeah, so fifteen pounds going in there. Wafty wafty. I love it. Every time someone says it on all the channels that I watch, it just makes me laugh every time. Let's put that in in fives as well. So five, what am I doing? Five, ten, fifteen. Just chuck all the money about. Lovely. So fifteen in there. I don't tend to buy that many cloves. And one of my first videos, I think it was, I did spend... Eighty pounds. Oh, that was just before my birthday and before my work's Christmas do. And I bought three outfits for like eighty pounds, including a bag as well. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, but yeah, I don't tend to really buy clothes that often. So I, hopefully, I can save up like a hundred and then um, and then go out on a little shopping spree, maybe. Or well, not that you can spree on on a hundred pounds that much. But anyway. Um, entertainment is next and that is getting 15 let's just do that in fives again so 5 10 15 which means that we now have 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 in entertainment so I'll write that down so 45 that's brilliant brilliant oh I've just realized though that I don't have any 15 ones to mark off. I will mark off. I think I'll mark off a 20. And then put an extra fiver in next time. I don't know if that's the right way of doing it. I don't know if there's a wrong way of doing it. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. And then I can mark it off on my iPad. Saying that I owe it £5. that's fine perfect so yeah 45 is really good um like i said in i think it was my last video i'm probably going to use this to like go to watch the touring cars or something because i do like the touring cars but a ticket costs around 35 pounds each so i mean i have enough for a ticket maybe i'll just go by myself <laughs> just leave steve at home um so that is everything in there and then the last two are my new challenges that I, I made them myself. So all, all made by me. So my first one, don't know about the pot yet, it was all I had to hand. Um, but I made myself a 30 envelope challenge. I'm hoping you can see, I'm just trying to see the phones, see if you can see. Um, yeah, I did 30 because that's the amount of card I had um, to make the envelopes with. Um, but I think that's fine. I get like you can reuse these challenges so it doesn't really matter does it I mean if you do 100 you do 30 I mean if you yeah but what difference does it make and it's more attainable to me or is that the right word yeah it's more more attainable yeah so it's going to be easier for me to do 30 envelopes than it would be for me to do 100 I think I'd really struggle and find it quite daunting whereas 30 the highest amount I, I'm putting in at one time is 30 pounds which we're we're doing today so yeah so it's you know it's a lot 
a lot easier for me to handle when it's smaller challenges as well. So there is that. And at the end of it, we'll say 495. I did make this myself. Quite simple, but I'm, I'm really happy with it. And then all of the envelopes, all different colours. So there's multiple of the same, but I think there was six different colours. Each of them have um, the number on them, obviously, to know where we're putting it. But yeah, I'm really, um, really happy with them. And I use like a matte um, laminate as well. So yeah, I don't know if it was in frame. <laughs> but yeah, so that is that. We, and yeah, we're putting £30 in. So I'm just going to cross off or colour in um, the £30 to start with. So that is a good start. And yeah, at the end, we will say £465, which is probably just going to go towards debt. The, I was thinking about it earlier, and obviously I have the 52-week challenge for the credit card. This could go towards debt, but knowing me, I'll probably change my mind and get to a certain point and be like, OK, we have enough money to pay off that credit card. I should probably not do all of these different challenges, but I can't help myself. Um, so, yeah, instead of putting this £30 into debt, I'm just doing two different challenges. But I, I, I think it's just making it a bit more exciting for me. Um, but yeah, maybe, you know, a couple of months down the line, I'm like, oh, actually, I've got like 200 in here and I've got 500 in the other or whatever. It's like, actually, I can pay off that that credit card. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, it's going to go to debt whichever way really that is the plan anyway so let's fill it so we've got the 30 and we're going to put 30 in there oh no i've just realized this envelope is broken oh well i can't get it in now it's split ever so slightly down the side this was like one of my first trials at it so but i've run out of cards so i can't make any more but maybe i will but yeah, so there's £30 in there. We'll pop that back there. And that's that one done. And then my other new challenge that I've made is my wedding fund tracker savings envelope binder. Wedding fund binder. Let's let's call it that. I never I wasn't quite sure what to call it. Um full inspiration from Iris Budgets. She is amazing. And again, I did post a short on this earlier. Um but I, I kept trying to order it and I've been refreshing refreshing her Etsy page multiple times a day. And when I found out the last time she, she mentioned it, she said they sold out within like half an hour. And that day I had refreshed at least five times and I was so gutted. But she did post a video on like how to make it. So I thought, well, I've got everything I need, really. Um, I will try and make it myself. The only thing I had to buy was the thicker laminating sheets because I've got one here actually. So these were the first attempts that I made and they are really flimsy. I mean, they'll do the job and they'll work, but they're just not quite as nice. And I made them quite a bit bigger as well. <laughs> don't know why I made them that big. Um, actually, I think this is maybe the size that Iris uses because I did take measurements and stuff from hers, but I don't know why I made it smaller. I, don't, I think maybe when I got the thicker laminating sheets, I obviously put some money in and I was like, well, actually, like a fiver looks tiny in there. Either I did something wrong or I just decided I'll make them a little bit smaller. Um, so that's what I did. So that's why they're a bit smaller. But yeah, these were really flimsy because I used the is it 150 micron laminating sheets that I already had. Um, and so I bought the 250 ones and worked a treat so yeah so I made some more and I was waiting on lamin laminating sheets yesterday which is partly why I didn't do this video until today as well because I was waiting for more laminating sheets to be able to finish it off I had like 10 left to do and I was like I don't I want to show it on the video so I'll, I'll I'll wait um but yeah I designed the front cover myself just says wedding fund on there um, and then we've got the tracker inside and I had originally, I think I've left it downstairs. I originally did 250 because that's all I made, I think. Did I? 
yeah and I thought to myself do you know what I'll just do 250 and then I was like no that's that's quite small and I, although you can obviously reuse it which I will obviously do for this because no wedding's going to cost a thousand um I was like no actually I want I want more envelopes <laughs> and plus I bought quite big ring binder clip things so more envelopes filled it out a bit I need to get a smaller size but um yeah so designed that myself as well um, and then it has also got a back page, but the back page shows on the inside and not the outside. So, and I don't know if it should be on both or just one. I don't know. I did go to make another one yesterday, but I cut it wrong. <laughs> I cut it on this edge instead of this edge. Would that have mattered? No, I didn't. I cut it too short. That was it. I cut it too short. I placed them too close together in the envelope, so I didn't have enough room. Um, and... Although it does still work, it's not as big as everything else. So it would like sort of come up to there and it would just look silly. So I've just left it. Um, but yeah, so we've got all of those. I've made it. We've got £5, £10, £15, £20, 25 30 40 and 50 Um, Anything bigger than that is going to be too much for me, really. And like I said with the other one, I'd rather do like smaller ones. Um, so it's probably a lot more envelopes than what you get in the iris binders. I don't know how many that she has in hers. Um, I haven't actually counted um, how many there are, but there's a lot. It's She's thick. She's thick. Um, but yeah, they're, they're smaller amounts, so it's more easier for me to, to fill it. Um, and yeah, they're, they're really good. I, I like them. And I used Iris's video. She did a how-to video. So definitely go and check that out if you was wondering like how they were made and stuff. Um, I just followed that really. A um, bit of trial and error with cutting them. I mean, they're not all the same size. Like, obviously it's hard to tell when they're in this binder. But they're not all the same width and they're not all the same height. I don't... Iris's probably looks 100% better than that. But it does the job you know i'm i'm really not fussed about it i like it and i'm really impressed that i managed to make it even if it didn't take me around 10 hours to make um at trying to stick because i went with glitter vinyl and it was a bit of a nightmare trying to stick it down or get it like on the transfer tape so it was a bit of a nightmare um and i did already put some plastic some plastic some pink vinyl on there and i really wanted to use my glitter one and i couldn't I had to buy some new transfer tape to be able to, to use it. So then I took off all of the vinyls that I'd already put on some of these. There's bits in all of this and it's winding me up. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with that. That is the next one we're going to stuff today. And we are doing £20. And that should be what we have left. £5, 10 15 20 20 pounds perfect so we'll find the first 20 pounds which is there and it's going in oh i'm so excited i'm so excited and then we can mark it off on the tracker literally so excited and i'm hoping that steve might put some money towards it as well um i mean obviously he's going to pay towards the wedding as much as i am um, but it would be quite nice to maybe for like maybe him to match what I put in here a bit like what he does with the penny savings challenge. Um, yeah, so if I put twenty pounds in now, like maybe he'll do twenty pounds. But he's self-employed, so income is a little bit sporadic sometimes. Um, so it can be a bit harder to do any of that. But he did say he was going to get some cash this week, and that he might give me some money towards this. So fingers crossed um we get some money <laughs> so we can put some more in um but yeah so i'm so excited that we have started that road to a thousand for the wedding fund binder um but yeah so that is everything today um oh i was gonna do something what was i gonna do hmm oh i think i was actually going to instead oh what was it I can't remember what it was now. I think it might have been I was going to take out some of the pound coins from Beauty and I was going to put them into the 30 envelope challenge to maybe do like a 22. Uh, yeah, like do two separate ones um, with like the change. 
if that makes sense. But I'm I'm not going to bother doing that. We'll um we'll use the change towards something next week when we do our cash stuff in. I don't know if you just heard that, but that was Millie um, meowing. I'm not sure if she's. Oh, she's just having a look around the room. I thought she might come and jump up, but um, yes. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you gonna come say hello? Yeah, come on in. You coming up? <laughs> just interrupting my video. Come on in. Come and say hello. Not that you're gonna see her that well, <laughs> but this is Millie. I'm a little fluffy bum. <laughs> Just having a sniff around. Um, but yeah, so that's everything. I'm going to leave it there. Oh, she's off. That was it. That was a nice brief, brief encounter. Um, but yeah, thank you ever so much for coming along to another video. If you haven't already, please do subscribe um, and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I post any more videos. And yeah, I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye.